back to the vlog. Nope. On repeat right now, Shameless by Camila Cabello. Is that how you say your first name? So we have some exciting news that is not a baby. Do you want to tell them? You tell them. You told me it was baby. Stop. It is not a baby. I would never joke about that. I am not pregnant. Okay. Starting. Will it start this week? Yeah. So like there'll be three this week. Yeah. Okay. Starting this week, there will be three weekly vlogs instead of two. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know the days yet? Like so it's Monday. Schedule? It's gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm sorry if you guys are like bouncing up a lot. Is it the same as your main channel? Scheduled days? No, so my main channel videos go up on Tuesday and Thursday, and then the vlogs we're gonna start doing three times a week because I personally like vlogging better. And then I think they're easier to edit, so like it just makes no sense. And one big thing that I noticed was so we were, hold on, maybe it's the, how far out I'm holding my arm. Um, we were vlogging, so what is it? We have a vlog go up on Monday, so that's footage from like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we have a vlog go up on Friday, so that's footage from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So like, I don't know, I just feel like Friday's vlogs were so weird because it was like this, our whole week mashed together and then Monday's vlogs were just like a, a little bit more fun, I guess. I don't know, vlogs are very odd. It's just like literally, you follow us around doing normal things, but I like watching them. So yeah, we're just gonna be, hey, oh, excuse me. We're gonna be uploading vlogs three times a week now. He's playing with his chin I'm hair. Um, a little bit, can you see it? There's nothing to see, there's like 10 hairs. All right, can you get away from me? I like it. So he's growing out, he refuses to grow out his mustache hair homeboy would have a full-blown like black mustache if he grew it out but he's gonna try this because i asked him to we'll see what he says i mean we'll see how how it goes i, I already don't like it it's been four they, days they just shave like it, it baby it's your facial hair it would be like if you were to be like i want you to not shave your legs i'd be like nah i'm not i'm not not shaving my legs like i there is nothing girls you can attest to this there is nothing out there in the world like clean sheets with freshly shaved legs. It's the best. Best ever. Okay, so I'm gonna get to listening to some music. We are going on a date. Um, going to a sushi place that we like. Hopefully we're gonna have time to go grab some candles from Bath and Body Works. Mr. Sensitive over here. Like I bought a body scrub today spent so much time making sure okay. I thought he would like it the is, scent. It is not even like sensitive. It's, I, I do not want pumpkin anything it's, in my house. Baby, it's cinnamon. It smells like pumpkin and like... Anyway, so you know, what it, you know what it smells like? What? It smells like those cinnamon sticks that were at Leo last year that made both of us like Oh, gag. that was horrible. That's what it smelled like to me. Those things were terrible. I like almost couldn't go in Lidl. But he's just very sensitive to smells and so he has to be present when I am buying a candle. Because also, like, there have been times I've brought one home and it, like, makes his eyes water and it, it's, like, a waste of money. So, hopefully we can hit up Bath and Body Works. We've got to go to Sam's Club and then Lidl. So, it's a date night, but it's a busy one. It's, like, an adult date night. Like, um, we got groceries, so we got to be out, so we might as well have a date night while we're at a type of situation. Where is Bath and Body Works? Is it in the mall? Yeah, it's in the mall. We're going to, um, Red Bull. That's the sushi place we're going, so we'll, like, already be in the mall, I guess. So, I guess we'll chat later. All right, so we are home from date night. Um, Got our groceries, went to Sam's Club, and also made it to Bath and Body Works. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, so, Sam got some stuff from JCPenney. Will you come show them what you got, baby? Uh, let me finish flattening these boxes up. Okay. What 
need to put this in here. Oh, wow. It's really dark. So, us. let me turn on the light. Um, if you are a oh, mom, wife, whatever, girlfriend, and your man wants some shirts, Sam has been doing this probably for the entire time we've been dating, and he has had... I've been buying these shirts yeah. since I was in high school. Yeah, so the shirts last forever. They're from JCPenney. They're just like, guys, some of them are crew neck, some of them are v-neck shirts. They come in tons of different colors, and they're six bucks a piece. Also, Sam's going to be doing, we've talked about while we were the store tonight, he is going to do on my main channel this Christmas, we're going to do a uh, men's gift guide. So he'll give you like gift ideas for guys if you are a girl looking for a guy's gift. So, we'll do this together. And then we'll show him what we got from Bath that Body Looks. So we got this red one. He gets a large, by the way. Shout out Arizona, you want to sponsor me, let me know. I'm literally just all aware of these color shirts. That is true, every shirt he has from Arizona. So he got this red one, but it's not like a solid red, it's like that, I don't know what that's called. Oh, it's more like of a, that's like a burgundy color, it's not really red. Yeah. There's like 17 tags on each one though. Yeah, that's true. So, so I am, I'm checking it. Because I didn't take the size one. He got this bright orange, he loves himself some bright shirts. I'm, when we started dating, he had... Pastel. It's the runner in him that likes all that bright stuff. And I was just like, oh, oh the green one, the it. green one, straight crew neck. That's what I'm about. Green one looks good. This green one. I'm a little. I would say I have brown ones, but I know they had this really pretty brown one that didn't have in a large. Yeah, boy. You boy over here, thick and can't, you, can't wear a medium anymore. Why are you ripping those tags off? I didn't told you. Oh, you did get the regular red. He got a regular red. It's not like a like a heathery gray. There's this, so the other red one has like a heather gray mixed in with it. And then I wanted to get him. I want him wanted him to have just a white one, but he was like, if I wanted a white one, I'll just wear an undershirt. White collared or so, undershirts. Then he got just a black. We spent uh, twenty nine forty eight after which tax. Is probably what I would spend for like one shirt because women's clothing is expensive. Have that black one. Here you go, take them off. So then we went to Bath and Body Works. Please, oh my gosh. Just want to see. You want to see how it fits? I don't ever, ever wear like solid black shirt like this. Oh, see, and I only wear like solid black, solid gray, solid white. Fucking stickers on the inside. Oh, is there? I guess we're going back through this. <laughs> stickers. You need to make sure. Well, there's six nine nine. Okay, so oh, you guys are bright. Oh, that's dark. I don't know. It's not my. It's not my sherbet orange. Oh, I love it. I just, he likes simple stuff. That's what I like. So, we went into Bath and Body Works. It was Sam's first time going in there. You guys know they probably have hundreds of scents. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> More stickers. It looked really good though. So, hundreds of scents. We agreed on two. I liked lots. Sam was like, no, nah, no. Nah. So, he is very sensitive, like I told you guys. But we know for a fact we like the mahogany teak wood. So we got the mahogany teak wood high intensity. They had, so this is the mahogany teak wood high intensity white barn candle from Bath and Body Works. It's the only high intensity candle they have and it is so good. I think it's the only one. Um, these are originally $24.50 and they were 10 bucks off today. So we got those and then we got the little jar one. And then. We got two of those. Frozen Lake scented candle from White Barn. Oh, that smells like. Oh, it smells like clean laundry. Smell it. Smell it. Gosh, that one's good. So he didn't like any of the fall stuff. So we will go with that one and the the clean laundry. But I'll take it because it's more than what we have had in this house. They have these curtains. Look how fancy they are. It has to burn all the way to the edge. Otherwise, it won't burn down clean. I've had this lighter. Probably five years. Actually, shout out. This is Steve's lighter. I sold it from him. That's how old that lighter is. I don't think Steve watches our videos. Probably not, but that's how old that lighter is. To be honest, is. Aren't, does Steve know we do YouTube? Uh, maybe. Probably not. That's true. I mentioned Steve in one of our vlogs. I mentioned Steve in the beach vlog. 
and I was like, so this one trash? Yes. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, Steve, this is how I can find you a girl. And so I included him and girls were messaging me and they were like, how do we get in, in touch with Steve? And I was like, I did not think this through. The boy does not have social media. I might have showed you guys what I got from, oh, I smell that fire now. Um, I might have showed you guys what I got from Ulta. I cannot quite remember, but I don't think I did. So I went to Ulta and then CVS today and picked up some new stuff and then some replacements. But I found this Tree Hut Brown Sugar Shea Sugar Scrub from Ulta. It's humongous. It is 18 ounces. This thing was $8 and it smells so good. It legit just smells like brown sugar. And I put it on my Instagram stories. And the reason I got it was because I like to exfoliate before I tan. But a lot of you guys messaged me saying that this is good to put on your legs before you shave. So I'm excited to try this out. Did you find the source of the burn? So what are your plans today, my love? Or at least what are you doing right now? I know what your like plans right are. Right now, I'm just kind of hanging out waiting on So, we're getting the tree cut down. Are you excited? I'm so excited. There's still gonna be a lot of work left to do. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot, but. It's gonna be a couple, unless we find somebody that's got a stump grinder, it'll be several months before those stumps yeah. can be pulled out. But at least a 30 foot Stump, basically it's just bad I think we I think we talked about it in the last vlog or the vlog before that I'm not sure but Sam cut down or is he started to cut down a tree and then realized the chainsaw that he was using was too small and so his uncle's coming today and they're gonna use his chainsaw and it is I'm so excited it's a beautiful tree, but it has been dead for so many years. It's probably gonna make a mess because we're just gonna knock it down wherever it falls. The branches are probably gonna explode off of it. Oh, 100% because it's so dead. He's gonna help me chunk it up, but chunks of that trunk are even this bigger. I'm just warning you, I may have to be out there like with the truck and chain the logs and like drag the logs to get them to the fire pit. You know what I mean? Those are tied up because we have the UP going right now. All right, so that's what he's doing. I'm gonna go get ready soon. I have blog posts to write today, a YouTube video to film. I've gotta give myself a pedicure today. I was gonna get a pedicure, but just honestly, I'm not in the mood to go like sit for that length of time because um, a week from today, my brother gets married. So I just need to do my toes anywhere they're purple and gross and just peeling and not good. So check in with you guys later, I guess, as the day goes on to kind of see how it all goes. What a perfect time. Look at that pretty girl. Look at how pretty. You mean that whole loaf of a cat? <laughs> she chunky. Just had to cut mats off of somebody. Some girl needed. She needs to just go get shaved. All right, I'm gonna go look at the tree area. Does it look good? Uh, I mean, it's not like cleaned up because I obviously hadn't burned it yet. It's okay. Okay, so I just woke up from a nap. I haven't been, so I've been sleeping for long hours of time, but I haven't been sleeping well during that time. So I am like a slug today. It's bad. Um, what is this loud vehicle driving by?
see me standing on the front porch with my camera. Well, they've got their truck over external. All right, so let's go look. Sam, early this morning, his uncle came and the two of them cut down that tree that I told you guys about in one of the last vlogs. Um, it was essentially, my mom said it right. I think it was my mom who said it first. It's essentially just like a, I think it was my mom who said it first. Essentially, it's just a 30 foot stump. Like it is dead. It's been dead for a really long time. And every winter, more stumps fall off. It's just, it's bad. And so, although we hate to cut down trees, it was a necessity for this one because it was starting to get dangerous. It was like falling. We were afraid it was gonna hit somebody's um, car or something like that, so. It was so tall and now our yard looks huge. So all of this is just like dead. It's, there were more trees growing in here, but then this stump right there is what was the, the tree. So it was very sad to see it go, but. So later we are going to go get um, Sam's little brothers. He's gonna be hanging out with them. And then I've just, I mean, I'll be hanging out with them too, but um, we're gonna go to dinner and stuff. So I think I'm gonna call this vlog probably because we already have a lot of footage anyway. We vlogged like a decent amount yesterday. Oh goodness. The, the Ailey boy in there. We're heading out of here. Yeah. We up in here. Yeah, we up in here, but we gonna be leaving. Or finishing this vlog. We actually are probably gonna go get them Soonish. I told him we'd probably be there around four, close to four, so yeah, it's getting. Okay, all right guys, so subscribe below if you're new here, give this video a thumbs up, that helps us out a lot, and we'll see you guys on Wednesday.